Jordan Degoe's found his name in the wrong part of the paper again. He's been in Bali, so we won't have a discussion about it, but we want to separate the action that took place over there because nobody on this desk condones it. But we want to more talk about the fact Collingwood, should they or should they have not let him go to Bali? Yeah, I can't believe that a club would allow a player with the record of Jordan Degoe to go to Bali. I said this back on Thursday, so it's not in a, in a hindsight situation. Uh, Damo, you've got a different take on that, so give us yours. Yeah, well, your I have a different take on, on a player being able to do whatever he wants to do in his own time. I, I, I'm over the control that footy clubs think they have over the individual. Now, the problem with this situation right now is that after writing that and after having that view, which I still maintain, Jordan Degoe behaved badly yet again. And, and this is where this conversation now moves into. But in terms of the specific part of should a club have the right to ask and tell someone what they can and can't do, I don't like it. I, I, they're adults mm. and they, they should be allowed to do so, what they were allowed to do in their own time. So should clubs be allowed to say to their players you can't drink on a six day break? They should be able to say that. So what, what, So where's the line there for you then? That you, you, You're not allowed to say you can't travel but you are allowed to say you can't drink on a six day break. So clubs have to have some control but, over their players. But, but they have to. They, they control the lives of these athletes from a pre-season sense from November through to September if you make finals. Um, you, you compare it with other sports around the world, Kane, and on so many other levels, you want the NFL style of athlete in the AFL system. And we don't get it. We, we roboticise every single athlete. Now, again, we're now talking specifically about Dugowie and, and where this story... I think you have to speak specifically about no, Dugowie a... because, because I, I've said if it was Scott Pendlebury that wanted to go to Bali with his family, 100% happy days Collingwood let him go. This is a guy that was locked up in jail in New York not that long ago, stood down by his club. So you can't separate Dugowie and then say what's good for him is good for everyone. You have to have the background of what this guy has He's done. He's saying Scotty Pendlebury can go, but 100%, Jordan Doe can't. 100%, that can't this work. Is 100%, okay. That doesn't Scott, work. You've just contradicted what, yourself there. Not, not, have you seen his rap sheet? Have you seen Jordan Goey's rap it sheet? It is, but if you, if Craig McRae's put trust in him. If you are at risk to be sucked into temptation, which he was always going to be at risk, you have to manage these players and advise them on the back of well, their you can hold their hand across the road as well. So you're I mean, saying he can't you're... leave Melbourne? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying you... you... So what's the difference if he goes to Gold Coast or well, he goes are you, are to you Perth? More, are you more likely to get tempted in Bali than you are in Victoria? I think Gold Coast, Bali, if he goes to Brisbane, I think it's all the same. I think He's found no. trouble in Melbourne too. Okay, mate, let's take it forward. Yep. What do you think Craig McRae, when he's first interviewed, what do you reckon his response is going to be? Oh, let's put another more further... Pre they're flying on field, yeah. but again, they just don't need this off. They, they don't need this, no. But he's a man of class, Craig yeah. McRae, and he will handle it well. I mean, they are dealing with this right now. I, I believe he's flying back in um, even today, potentially. Uh, this is the statement he put out uh, last night. Now, again, I don't believe the club had a, an awareness of that. And he's allowed to do whatever he wants to do in his own space there too and people can make of that what they, they want to. The AFL is clearly looking at it Lotto and, and as we speak there's no statement coming from them and it may be later on today that they're going to work it through it, it with Collingwood but so you've got the image side of it and you've got the football side of it and when it's all said and done, when it's all said and done I don't believe he's going to be missing any games of footy out of this. Does anyone think he should? I think he should. I don't, I don't think the action that he's done over On there, what grounds though? Well, I don't think it's acceptable to behave like that in 2022. I mean, the action that has been. But how, do you, how do you word to that to say you're going to miss a game of footy? How, how do you word it? Ill discipline. Under the rules. E easily. Cl clubs suspend players and have done all the time for drinking mishaps. So Freeman will just have one with Frederick for drinking on a six day break. You can easily. Has the club the said you're not allowed to drink on a six day break, though? I don't, I don't know what because the club has said. But I think I, if a club does say that, then you, do, then you don't drink because yeah. that's part of you being an AFL footballer. But, but a club then, can't but, say you can't travel to Bali. But, so what can they say? Is Damo saying you, you're allowed to travel to Bali, but they can say you can't drink on a six-day break. So what level of control... You want to put trust in the, the player to do the right thing when he gets there. Yeah, well, I think they've set him up to fail and um, it was a ridiculous decision. Once again, Collingwood are on the front page of the paper for two days in a row and they look foolish as a result of one of their players. I also just want to the highlight... There's, I think it sounds like Jordan Goe has put a lot of trust in people that are somewhat inexperienced. When you look at his manager being his brother-in-law and respect to him, he doesn't have a lot of experience in the area. So I know if I was in that position, yes, I wouldn't go. But even if I wanted to, I knew that someone they would lean on was my manager, Craig Kelly, and he, he would look me in the eye and say, mate, you're not going. And BJ? And take that away from the club. So that's taken out of the hands. So Ned's got the best interests for me, and so should... Uh, Jordan's manager and his brother-in-law. So that's where I'm just thinking he's maybe just put a, a bit more trust in the people that would know the landscape a little bit more and would say to him, mate, you're not going. It's, it's not and a great look. Well, his statement is embarrassing. Can we, can we have another look at the, the statement? Because for him to blame the media for this is embarrassing and he's misread the room as much as he's misread the room by going to Bali. So to think that he could blame 
the uneducated bias and ill informed narrative that has gone too far. How about he takes some ownership? So, yep, absolute fault with the management, absolute fault with the club, but 98% fault for Jordan Ngoi for putting himself in this position again. Oh, right. Brian, I know we're moving on. I just want to say he's 26, Orin at 36. He'll have a lot of regrets that he didn't get the most out of the ability that he's been blessed with. You look at the, I'm looking at the Herald Sun now, the coaches' votes. Lockie Neal on top, would he do it? Would he go to Bali and be drinking now? No, he wouldn't. Brayshaw second, Cripps third, Petrarca fourth, Clayton Oliver fifth, Took Miller sixth. You're a professional. That's why you wouldn't do it. None of these guys would even think about it. So whether it's right or wrong, we can argue that. But in terms of why he is what he is and where he's still at in his career not being a top five and a best and fairest, it's because of decisions like that.